Thank you, Beatrice. Uh, yeah, I'm Scott Spencer, resident of the Triangle neighborhood in the city, and DART has long been the uh, second car for my family. I'm getting ready to catch uh, the number 12 here uh, shortly. But, uh, which I don't want to see cut to uh, once an hour, because once you hit that threshold, it uh, undermines the ridership. But more specifically, I'm here today to ask DART to invalidate this proposed bus schedule change and restart the whole process for the next schedule change because it has not been transparent, complete or correct as to what the real changes are. Uh, you heard because of various funding requirements and legal requirements that the <coughs> hearing proposed changes were read into the record, but I want to make note to the public that it is not complete and correct because it does not even mention in this uh, record that there are 14 bus routes, excuse me, 11 bus routes that will be removed from Rodney Square that aren't even mentioned here. I only found that out by looking at the boards here today. And there are um, four other bus routes that are indicated that will be removed from Rodney Square. So that's a total of 15 bus routes. And I have to say one of the great assets that makes the city of Wilmington great is the dark bus hub here at Rodney Square. For a quarter of a century now, it's been the ability to connect and catch a bus at this destination to others throughout even the state that's been vital to provide the freedom of mobility for commuters, students, and senior citizens and disabled passengers. It's a vital asset to the economic fabric of Wilmington and Newcastle County. And without a centralized hub, passengers will face confusion, inconvenience, and uncertainty, as you heard from Mr. Holloway, when they have to scramble across several city blocks at night in the rain or in the snow. And by the way, these proposals are slated for December 17th, right in the middle of the holiday season. Merry Christmas, <laughs> struggling with their shopping bags, or, or the very holiday jobs they don't want to be fired from if they miss a bus? No. That's why I think this whole hearing process should be invalidated. I've never seen it. The, the total picture is not here. And I know there's a lot of bus riders out there. And I will say that I stand with over 1,200 people who signed a petition five years ago to keep the buses on Rodney Square. We should not break that trust that they gave in those signatures when they agreed, okay, we like the Sunday bus service, we agree to the higher fares, keep the buses on Rodney Square. We shouldn't break that trust, certainly not by this uh, proposal. So I just want to point that out and uh, please spread the word that uh, DART is going back on its word to keep the buses on Rodney Square with these changes. I will say that the uh, solution is to combine the routes as DART has done. It gives us better connectivity, but it also cuts the number of buses in hand in Rodney Square. I also want to propose, in fairness to the business commitments here that don't like the conditions at Rodney Square, that uh, we restore the Rodney Square police patrols that were here originally when the night service in the Rodney Square was established in 92, that we clean and repair and replace those bus shelters that are supposed to be there, and that uh, we also find the funding to do the cleaning and repairs that are necessary at Rodney Square, and a city ordinance to make Rodney Square uh, smoke-free, which is already in place in New York City and at bus stops. That cuts down the loitering and the other issues that are of uh, concern to the business commitments and fairness here in Rodney Square. Thank you.